So this is fitting and removal of an in-situ sling in a lying position. Okay, so this is the in-situ sling I'm going to be using for the demonstration of this video. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lie the sling on the opposite side of the bed, ready to be fitted. Um, I'm going to ask my person to roll towards me. This is going to give for the purpose of the video, it's going to give you a clear view of how the sling is fitted underneath him. If I was going to ask my person to roll away from myself, I'd need to ensure that the opposing side of the bed was secured. This can either be done with a side rail, or if in a domestic setting, the bed might be pushed up against the wall, creating that security. So if I ask my person to just roll over into side lying. So while fitting this sling, on this design of sling, it does have an indicator stitched in to the sling. This indicates where the sling is fitted over the service user. Okay, so it comes over his hip and drops down like that. Okay, I'm then going to look at the top of the sling. I'm going to look at the label and make sure the label of the sling is center of his back. Once these are in a good position, and then I'm going to, using the softness of the mattress, I'm just going to push the sling underneath his body. Once I'm happy with the fit and I've got enough underneath, I can ask him to lay back on his back. There we go. And I'm just going to ask him to lift one shoulder up. I should have enough underneath him to then bring the sling through. Once it's in this position, you, you then need to do a visual check of the sling to ensure that you've got an equal amount of the sling either side of your person. Um, if you've got more to one side than the other, you'll be looking to do additional rolls to refit the sling. Once you're happy that the sling is in a good position, then look to fit the leg pieces. While fitting the leg pieces, you need to be aware of shear friction forces on the person's body. So to reduce the risk of this, I'm just going to place one flat hand between the sling and my person's leg. This is just going to create a barrier and reduce the risk of any shear friction. And while doing this, I can just ease the sling through and between and just get this fit fitted underneath him. Okay. Once in a good position again, it's a divided leg sling in this design of in situ. So I'm just going to loop together in the middle. And then with the outside straps, I'm just going to bring it through. And that's the lower part of the sling fitted. Again, another visual check just to make sure while fitting the lower part of the sling, I've not misplaced any part of the top. Okay. I'm then going to start, I'm going to look to fit a flat sheet a flat slide sheet underneath his lower limbs. I've got a single flat slide sheet folded in half. I'm just going to place this underneath his heels. This is to reduce risk of shear friction forces on his lower limbs while being hoisted up off the bed. And then I'm going to bring my carry bar in, over. But before I attach the loops, I'm just going to profile the bed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to profile the knee brace and the head and, and the backrest together. This creates a more comfortable hoisted position. So then I'm going to attach my loops. The loops will be pre-assessed by the prescriber once they are attached. I'm just going to double check. Make sure that I've got them on securely before I actually start taking him up off the bed. Another thing to be mindful of when hoisting is just to ensure if the carry bar, that it's not too close to the head. I generally put a hand between them and the carry bar just to create that barrier and ensure their safety. So bring them up off the bed. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to lower the bed. This is just going to demonstrate the fit of the sling. So there we go, we've got clearance. So that is the in situ sling after it's been used to hoist someone up off the bed. I'm now going to demonstrate how to remove the sling in a line position. 
So I'm going to lower back down onto the bed. Just be mindful again of the carry bar. And then once you've got slack on your tapes, you can just remove these. And once they are removed, the hoist can be taken away. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reprofile the bed. So I'm going to bring it back up to a safe working height for me. While I'm doing that, I'm just going to undo the lower part of the sling and get it prepped and ready for taking off. Once we're in good position, I'm going to unprofile the bed down as well. So it facilitates the person rolling into side lying for the sling to be removed. I can now also take out the slide sheet. Once this is done, so I'm going to ask my person to roll towards me into sideline position. And then I'm going to fold the sling up underneath, ensuring that the tapes go underneath as well. And then I'm going to use the softness of the bed just to push down underneath his body. And then he can roll back into onto his back. And I should be able just to ease the sling through nice and carefully. And that is the fitting and removal of an in-situ sling in a lying position.